this is my setup and calibration station for the new stuff that I've added. So here we have the new data logger. Here we have a uh, plus or minus 10 inches of water gauge for setting up uh, six of the eight sensors. And here we have a, what is it, a, a plus and minus one bar gauge to set up the uh, two high pressure sensors. Okay, the big thing here is the traffic lights. Uh, these three lights here, uh, the, the green and red have to do with syncing uh, the SD card uh, each cycle and the yellow light uh, is used to let me know that I've uh, successfully marked there when that comes on. Uh, added a mark to the data logging so that I know if I write down some event I can tie it in with exactly when it happened and obviously the little push button right there is what makes the logger work. Uh, the uh, next set of lights here which are actually white and blue and orange, although it kind of looks red here, um, are for uh, pressure. Um, this is low pressure, this is right on pressure, and this is high end pressure below the grate. This is temperature, uh, same thing below right on and high uh, below the grate temperature. And of course they're adjustable through software and uh, I think I have this set so right on is in the range of uh, like uh, 0.8 to 2.5 inches water column and this is 0.4 to 0.8 which tells me I've got some uh, suction going on and this is over uh, 2 point whatever I said 0.5 or 0.8 and then I believe the right on number here is probably about eight or 900 degrees Fahrenheit some hundred degrees or two either side of that. But anyway, I made these little PC boards here and uh, uh, I made them just to try making some PC boards using the laser printer technique and uh, so this uh, holder for them which is of course designed so that I can see it from anywhere in the in the uh, workroom when I'm working uh, was kind of an afterthought. So here's the data logger itself and uh, I've made big changes since the last time we looked at it. I moved the, the uh, uh, Arduino uh, Mega 2560 off the board. It was sitting about here. Now it's off the board to give me more real estate room. And I've moved the LD, LCD display from on the board as far off as I could to give me no, more room. And there are now eight pressure sensors. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. Uh, there also are two uh, thermocouple amplifiers down here. They're the Max 6675s, and they're a little older, but they work out just fine. And then here's my four gigabyte uh, SD card. Uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, that's the way my display looks right now. Uh, upper left is that's minutes since I turned it on. Uh, 29 minutes. AT stands for ambient temperature, 74 degrees, and I got three places for that. TA is temperature A or 1, but and it's 78 degrees, but I've got room for 9,999 degrees on there, so I didn't want to put it as T1 because that would confuse the number. And then B is uh, thermocouple 2, which is reading 71 right at this moment, well, 76. And then, as you can see, the pressures just start with 1 and then move on toward 8. So that second row is uh, uh, pressure 1, 2, and 3. So, uh, third row is uh, uh, 4, 5, and 6. And the bottom row is 7 and 8. And then over in the lower right-hand corner is the marker. Uh, so that I know what, how many of them I've placed and so that I can write it down when things are, when it's an appropriate time to do so. Okay, so anyway, that's my data logger. And obviously, right now I'm running it from the USB port on the computer. Uh, this is my uh, external power supply. And, uh, and then over here are my two gauges. Let's see if I can turn that so it's right reading. Uh, this is uh, 
bidirectional gauge so that it'll go either vacuum or pressure. And I have calibrated that against a YouTube manometer that I got from uh, L Power Labs a couple of years ago. Here is a one bar plus and minus one bar gauge. And this one I'm using to calibrate uh, my sensors for, uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I have a uh, 10 uh, kPa sensor and a 50 kPa sensor. So the 10 kPa sensor goes to about 40 inches of water, and uh, that's about 0.1 bar. So at least I can read it, and, uh, and I calibrated this too. And then uh, the other sensor goes to 200 uh, inches of water column, which is a half a bar, I think. Anyway, uh, that's the setup I have. And uh, here I have a uh, mechanics uh, mechanism for uh, bleeding brake lines and stuff. So I have uh, the sensors hooked up. All six of the low pressure sensors are hooked up. Uh, in uh, parallel and so if I uh, crank this baby up to about let's say eight inches there's a slight leak here but they're about eight inches there then we can go over here and see of course the the meter is dropping so but you can see that that uh, those are all pretty darn close and I, I, I do not have calibration software uh, automatic calibration software built in here I suppose I should but over the last year I've found that things don't drift very much as long as I've got good circuit connections okay now that was uh, six of the eight sensors and you can see right now and that's one of the other things that I wanted to show is that the white LED is uh, glowing fiercely here the white pressure LED is on showing me that we have over two point I think it is eight inches of water column and you can see it dropping slowly and the pressure is dropping slowly okay let's see here I can I can add a leak here with this little lever I'll try to leak down this is going to be the second sensor it'll be the one that's reading 2.5 right now and the green or the blue light just went on the white light went off and the blue light went on and so that's how that works so the whole, whole idea is I can be all the way across the room running the generator or whatever and I can uh, it get a general idea of what the vacuum is without even having to walk up to the data logger and read the uh, read the uh, LCD. Of course all this is being recorded. And now we're down a little under two so we've got a little way to go. I'll try to introduce a leak again. Okay, so now we're down to a little under one. There we go. And now we have the orange lead lit. And we are at reading the second pressure. Well, they're all about the same. Uh, 0.5 uh, inches water column. So that's in the range of 0.4 to 0.8. And then when the pressure goes below 0.8, it goes out and we're back to uh, pretty much nothing okay so now uh, the last thing that I want to show right now is uh, working with the higher pressure sensors I have the high pressure sensors which are hooked to the one bar gauge uh, uh, piped together and they are number uh, five and number eight here, which is number one, two, three, four, number five, six, seven, and eight. So five and eight. Okay, and all I'll do is to suck on these, and so you can watch this. You don't get to watch the 
the uh, the mechanical gauge and I'm going to suck hard enough to get that to come up to about 40 inches of water. So you can see that once they, uh, the pressure stabilizes, they read pretty darn close to each other. Regarding my uh, pressure uh, traffic lights, I call them, uh, the uh, pressure fluctuates a lot uh, on this uh, with my Chinese gasifier. <coughs> so I get a lot of spikes when I take sequential readings. So I didn't want these lights to be going on and off and on and off every time the pressure bounced around because of uh, uh, various things going on in the water filter and so on, I decided to average three readings, which are five seconds apart, and then based on that decide whether or not a light should be on or off. Okay, so now I am going to uh, demonstrate the, uh, or try to demonstrate the traffic lights that I have hooked up for temperature sensing below the grate again. Uh, two thermocouples I'm going to be warming them both up. One of the problems that are that are really tough for me is uh, it's really hard to get you to be able to see what's going on on the LCD screen. But you could just see there that we just went through part of a cycle. And uh, right now the thermocouple 2 which is reading 500 and 430 degrees over here, the lights are off. So now lights came on at 750, 67 degrees. Thousand sixty-six. Fourteen hundred degrees went off at about eleven forty five degrees, but you know it's only sampling every five seconds, so things are changing rapidly eight twenty six now it's six thirty seven and the red light is on so that's really what I wanted to kind of share with you uh, and the thermocouples are again capable of reading reading to four places. I have uh, 1,700 on one, and I had 1,800 on the on the other one.